guys, it's me, Rebecca, and I am here with Winston, who is over my shoulder. Thanks. And we are unboxing some thread up shoe boxes. So I ordered some more shoe boxes because I had a credit on thread up and I sent in a bunch of just old merchandise that I had at the house. I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I got about $120 credit from them and I decided to buy another big shoe box. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening this box while I'm talking. I hope you can hear me over it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say is, I know last time I said that my box was really crappy and I unboxed it. And inherently when you first looked at the box and when we were unboxing it together on the video, it looked like the shoes were not going to sell for very much. However, I did end up making a profit off of that box. So in total, I've purchased two big boxes of $50 thread up shoes, um, the rescue boxes. You can find them at threadup.com. Just go to the rescue area of the box. I'm sorry, the rescue area of the, sh of the website. And there you'll find the 50 box. Normally it's $250 for 50 pairs of shoes. So that equals out to about five to $5 a pair. Um, and since I had a credit, I, you know, was able to, I think I paid 148 for these 50 pairs of shoes. And so we're gonna go through them. But so far I've made almost a thousand dollar profit on two of those 50, 50, uh, bo 50 shoe boxes. So for the 100 pairs of shoes, I've made about almost a thousand dollar profit. I'm actually have all the numbers to break down break it down further into another video so you can kind of see what brands ended up selling, which ones I gave away, how many were damaged, how many sold, how many I kept, and that kind of stuff. So in that video coming up, you'll be able to see the breakdown of about how many I actually got, what the average profit per shoe was, you know, how many actually sold, how many I ended up giving away, donating back, um, and how many they sent me that were just completely unsellable. So with that being said, they sent me three boxes. So I have three thread up boxes here. Um, and typically with the smaller boxes, there won't be any boots in here, which is fine with me. I don't really want to add any boots to my closet right now. What do you think? Is this gonna be a good box or a bad box? A good one? Okay. Oh, I lied. There are boots in here right on top. Um, okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. Um, I don't have as many shoes in my Poshmark closet as I normally do, so I'm excited to add these in. Um, this is just a pair of black uh, knee-high leather boots. I don't think they're real leather. Oh, no, they are leather. leather. The, the actual name of these are called must have o like literally must have they're nine west and the brand is i don't know if you or the name of it is must have o so these are nine west knee high boots right out of the gate i'm not unhappy about these we got some bandolino i don't know what you would call these maybe astrological they're not really quite floral but they're like a fabric-y kind of heel. These are um, a size eight and a half. So we got three of the, or not three, I don't know why I said that. They're about three inch heels is what I meant to say. But I don't really know what this print is. It kind of looks like a science-y space DNA kind of, but they're in really good shape. Um, you know, I'm not, dissatisfied with these um, another pair of nine west heels these are actually really great shape they're a size six and a half so they're my size they've got the hidden platform they're black patent leather probably a three and a half heel to these they are in really really good condition they're just a classic black patent leather peep toe heel so those are okay I got some Banana Republic, like 90s style, crushed velvet bow heels. These are a size five. 
and they kind of blend into my shirt, but do you like these? Yes? Okay. So we got some crushed velvet bows, but again, these are not in too bad a shape. Hopefully this will give me an idea of the condition of the whole box of these shoes, but we will keep going. A pair of Uggs. I can clean these up. So these are like the sweater Uggs. Not mad about these either. So I got a pretty decent pair of these sweater Uggs. I mean, they are, they're in pretty, pretty good shape. These are, these are a size five. The only thing is they're a small size, but um, they are sheepskin, they're authentic. Um, so we got some Uggs. All right. Oh, we have another pair of the same Banana Republic shoes, but these are black. So I don't know if you can see. I'm in my living room because my parents were here and they are they were sleeping in my eBay room. So we have a bed set up and all my lighting is torn down. So I don't really have a good place to do this right now. Um, so I hope that the lighting works for you guys. Adrian Bittadini wedge heels with uh, like the ballet strap ankles. These are suede, six. They have not even been worn. DSW has the original price on here as $59.94. Or no, I'm sorry, $116, and then they were on sale for $59.94. And then DSW had them for 80% off. So in DSW, these would have been $12. But they just, the suede on here just needs some brushing, but they are pretty much new without a box. So those are, those are good. They're just a size six. So they're, again, they're a smaller size. I have no idea what, what these are. are they Dr. Sh yeah, they're Dr. Scholl's. They're just like Dr. Scholl's sandals. So I'll just auction these off on eBay but they're leather, it's Dr. Scholl's. The only thing is sometimes with these thread up boxes, it's, I get shoes that have no sizes. So then you have to measure them. And whenever you get a shoe that doesn't have a size, if you kind of figure out what size you think they are, I always include a tape measurement photo across the shoe. So you can see that, okay, this shoe from here to here, you know, and lay the tape measure across the shoe. So you can see exactly how wide and how long the shoes are. That way it just saves you in case someone's like, these aren't really a size six. And you're like, yeah, but I also put measurements in there. Um, okay, these are just Banana Republic wedges. Nothing fancy about them, size six. Just some cream, like they're not really nude. They're more of an ivory color. I think they these wrap, ankle wrap. Yeah, they got ankle wrap buckles. Uh, Kelly and Katie, these are a size five. Um, these are not very exciting. They're just little low heel pumps. But again, they look like they've barely been worn, but they're a size five. So again, they're a smaller size, which sometimes can be hard to sell. They're not hard to sell. They're just longer to sell. This brand is called Delish, D apostrophe Lish. I'm assuming these are sold in like Rue 21 or something like that, Justice. They're just little fake leather boots. And I got a couple of pairs of these in my last box that were from like Rue 21 or somewhere. And um, I ended up giving them away and the girls that I gave them to loved them. So, you know, you just never know when you get stuff like this, who's gonna like them. So, you know, just little boots like this. The, let's see, the next pair here, these are a six and a half. Oh, old, oh no, I thought it was Old Navy. Olivia, I can't, it's Olivia something in cursive, but they're like suede sneaker high top boots. They're actually really soft. These are really soft. There you 
can see that. And these are size seven. Ooh, Aquazara. Aquazura. I always know, I always forget how to say this. So sometimes these Italian ones you forget how to say, but this is, these are good shoes, size 36, which is a six. I can polish up the toes on these. They're a little messed up, but it's a good brand. And this, that's a nice style shoe. Aquazura. And finally, there's a pair of Uggs in here, another pair that may have been repaired or they're just coming apart at the seams there. They need to be repaired, but they're pretty. They have back braiding on them and they have definitely need to be cleaned out on the inside. I hate when they cut the tag out of them though. But the tag has been cut out of these. So I'll have to figure out what size they are, but they look like they're a size seven. Um, so we'll just clean these up and they will be good to go. So, so far in this box, I'm pretty happy about it. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so there's fourteen pairs in this first box, and the total I should get is fifty. So we're gonna look for fifty pairs here. This is box two. You may see my pug come around here. He's laying on the other side. If you hear any snorting or anything of that nature, it's just him. I had one girl comment in one of my videos asking what the farting noise was. And no, it's not me farting in my videos. It's uh, my pug snoring. Oops. All right, so here's box two. I really taped this one up. Ooh, what are these? There's some interesting, oh my gosh. I used to have these in my personal collection, except mine were Sam Edelman, but they I had these shoes and I used to wear them all the time. They have spikes and rhinestones on the back of them. Um, and they're very heavy. These are suede. They're size five and a half but these are the coolest shoes. The only problem that I had with these shoes is I would accidentally kick myself, and one time I made my foot bleed in the back from the spikes, but I am actually very excited about these shoes. So these are killer. Could probably be very def defensive if you needed them to be, or protecting, I guess. Defense mechanism. These are some interesting, this is a good box. I'm not gonna lie. So far, I'm very happy with what's in here. I shouldn't curse it, but these are some interesting Timberland boots here. They're all tied together. I don't think I've ever seen any Timberland boots quite like this, but they're like a rose gold with hearts. Um, they're size eight and a half. They're like brand new. They just need like a little, they have some dings on them from being in the box. But <laughs> these are pretty cool. I, these are not my style, but someone will definitely be able to rock these. Um, these thread up. Timberland kicks. All right, a basic pair of aerosol, like bronze flats, size seven. Super comfortable shoes. Another pair of really cute Steve Madden. 6.5 Nando slip-ons. A pair of, oh my God, a pair of APLs. So these are very expensive. Um, they sell these on Lululemon's website. 
Um, APLs are athletic. Um, I thought they were performance labs, but it's in here it says propulsion labs. But these are expensive shoes. I think I might be able to clean these toes up a little bit, but these are like a light pink color. So, I yeah, so far so good. I mean, even if it was just these two boxes, I would be fine with it. These I'm not very excited about. I don't know what these are. These just feel gross. I don't even know what these are. Something fifth. I don't know, I can't. So there's a pair of like really cheap, these are fake leather boots. Um, a pair of Steve Madden. I think I just saw these in Nordstrom Rack. I mean these have, I had to clean these up a little bit, but a pair of Madden, Steve Madden, like, Ankle booties with some laser cutouts, chunky heel. These are a size six called, they're, the name of it is called Bright. Okay, these are Tibby. And Tibby is a nice brand also. This is made in Brazil. Um, these, I need really need to buy some of those uh, clear foot things so I can put ankle strap thingies around them but they're just leather strappy sandals these are size 36 so it seems like in this round of boxes I've gotten quite a few of, of smaller size boots um, oh yeah 37. these are my size so these are Joie, um, J O I E if you're not sure of how to say that these are suede ankle booties. These boots probably retailed for like 200 and some dollars, 250 maybe. They are genuine leather, suede, in good condition. I'm not sure what these are. These are interesting. Okay, I have no idea what this, uh, what this is for these boots. Okay, these are like rosette. Flip flops, size 9.5. They're in very interesting foam kind of texture consistency. All right, we got some ankle booties that look like the Maddens, but they're that Cupid brand. And they're really cute too. I would rock most of these shoes. I mean, these are. I'm very, very pleased. They have redeemed themselves with me. Soul Society, these shoes are called Mallory. These are really, seriously, in good shape. So, little heels here, size five. The only thing about the this box is that there's just a lot of little sized shoes. So like I said, the little sized shoes sell a little less. Um, Okay, these are a five and a half, again, smaller sized Ivanka Trump suede shoes that need to be cleaned up on the inside, but they're just a classic gray suede shoe. These are Circa Joan and David, like women's dress shoes for work with a low heel size. I don't know, nine, probably a nine. Nine, nine, nine and a half. BCBG Generation quilted platform heels, the hidden platform. They're like an ivory clean, uh, nude color. The heels are a little banged up, but the actual shoe part is really good. These are an eight and a half. Another pair of Soul Society shoes. These are green suede, low heel ankle straps, size nine and a half. I really love the green on these. These would be perfect for the fall. Steve Madden, just a classic. I can get that off. It's just a classic like burgundy mm -hmm. pump. Uh, Banana Republic, just a basic flat from them, nothing exciting. Again, a smaller size, 
size six. And Steve Madden moccasins. Okay, so we got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right, so there should be 18 pairs of shoes in this final, final box. So let me switch these boxes here. Not knocking over my camera. Now, whenever you order these boxes, I'm sure my video, or maybe it is the first video you've ever watched, but for these thread up unboxings, but you have to remember that the, these boxes are hit or miss. They really are. You cannot go into these boxes expecting a, anything amazing or anything of, of a specific kind. You just have to take it with a grain of salt knowing you're buying their rescue shoes, knowing that they may or may not turn a profit for you. And you know, that's the risk that you take when you buy a box like this. For me, the last two boxes have worked out. Also not having to go source 50 pairs of shoes is very beneficial for me. Um, having them delivered right to my door. All right, here we go. Last box. Um, I'm not sure what this brand is, but these are just little like little sneakers, striped sneakers. I think this is a kid's brand. These are a size six, but they look small. Um, some hush puppies sandals these are um again i can't find the size easily they're six and a half comfort view comfort view i'm assuming that means these are comfortable they look like space shoes don't they like this is what we will wear as sandals in space. These are space shoes. Their name is Violet and these are size eight and a half. They have a Velcro ankle strap with a stretch to them. This is just style shoes. That's the brand that this one says. Style shoes, these are actually broken. So this is what, so this is a, what um, ThreadUp considers a rescue shoe. I have reached out to them with shoes like this in the past and they just say, hey, we're sorry, this is what you get, but this is an example where this bow is um, completely ripped off from the shoe. And you can see here, um, oh, actually I just ripped the whole bow off. So, um, oh, oh my God, I just ripped the bow off the other one. Oh, you know what happened? Okay, the bow fell off and then someone glued the bow back on and then the bow just fell off with the glue. So that's what happened here. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with these shoes, but at any rate, here's the bow for these shoes. I'm just gonna tuck them inside of the mule here so I don't lose the bows. All right, enough with those. These are interesting, very gold. Oh. I love these flip-flops. This is funny. I actually have four pairs of these, not these gold ones, but I have four pairs of this style of these guest flip-flops upstairs. I've worn them to death. These are a size 40. They do not even look like they have been worn. The bottoms are like completely clean on them. Um, and these are actually adorable. They're not missing any rhinestones and they are bling, bling, blingerson. So these are cute. And I just got mine at Macy's, so it's not like they're, you know, it's cute. Okay, these are Massimo, Massimo Supply Company. So these aren't anything exciting. Size five and a half, but they're just ballet flats. 
these are guess g by guess so it's even the cheaper version of a guess shoe i didn't know that existed but g by guess eight and a half medium they are brown boots like that um let's see um the brand is beauty feel i've never seen this brand before and the bottom has a woman shopping as the logo um, but these are actually nice feeling boots it's got a nice hound's tooth oh look how cute the side is with the little um red grommets little red grades red suede grommets so i just got to find the size on these or maybe not they're probably tucked inside somewhere i'll have to find them but these are cute Oh, size 40. I see it's on the zipper. But these are in really good shape. They're really cute. They're different. Um, I've been shopping with my mom a lot this weekend. She was in town visiting. And I really tried to find some different stuff in, for my Poshmark closet that I don't typically um, get. So I, I have purchased some good stuff to put in there. So I'm hoping that I can add some really cute stuff to my closet. We got some Just Fab boots. Now what I would do with these... Just so, you, this is just a tip. So if you, if it's your first time watching me, I like to give tips as I'm unboxing the shoes. But what I would, would make sure that you do is any kind of shoe that you have that has these threads loose. I don't know if you can see those, but like the top has these threads loose. Make sure you trim those before you take pictures of them and sell them. If you wanna do the top, like the top of this, you can also use your sweater shaver. So you just go around the top and it will just make that real smooth and get rid of all of those little fibers that are on top there. But these are just fab boots. And just fab is that, I think it's the mail, <laughs> mail order catalog shoe place that you can like get mail shoes delivered to you. The problem is, is that even though these are cute, I think just fab is like $39.99 a month. So these really won't resell for that much unless they were like a really, really cute style. I mean, these are not too bad and I love how they have all the buckles on them though. All right, we got some wild and crazy Michael Antonio heels. And if you like these like wild heels, Michael Antonio is definitely a brand you should look into because he has some really, really wild and crazy shoes. But again, these are missing the size, so I'm gonna figure out. They're a bigger size, they're probably a nine and a half. Um, they've got the hot pink elastic with the teal, the faux reptile prints, platform on the toe, and the very high heel. Chinese laundry, I just can't get rid of, I have another pair of Chinese laundry boots from the last box, I just can't get rid of them. These are like a caged, Sandal, maybe these will sell a little bit better. These are an 8.5, 8 8.5. So they're just a caged high heel. I mean, they're in good condition. I will say that the condition of these shoes um, in these three boxes is much better than the condition of shoes I got in even both, both of the first two boxes that I've purchased. Um, it doesn't look like I have any shoes in here that I'm gonna have to actually like throw away. So that is always a good sign. Um, this doesn't have a brand in them. They're just black shoes. They don't even have, they're just black shoes. I have no idea what the material is. Nope. They smell like plastic. So I'm going to guess that they're just a generic size 41 is a what? 10. So they're just a black loafer with a side cut out low heel. Bandolino dress shoes. Again, if you watch my other video, these are like classic. Just prom shoes, homecoming shoes. Make sure you use those kind of words and terminology when you're listing these kind of shoes because a lot of girls are looking for formal shoes, homecoming shoes, prom shoes, and that's what they're actually searching for. So the more those, those keywords you can use for shoes like, for anything really, but shoes like this, the more you'll show up in the for them in the search results. All right, Mosimo, Massimo, nine and a half. 
navy blue patent leather heels, pointed toe. These are actually really cute. Good condition. We've got another bandolino shoe, burgundy animal reptile print. Good shoe, low heel. Uh, Forever 21 sandals, like a strappy braided sandal here. He's bored, you can tell. Call it spring, pretty sure this is um, Target's new brand. They're just wedges, wedge sandals with a really high heel. We've got some pom-pom Chowan. Chowan, it's a cheap brand, I don't know. C-H-A-O, you can see that. So, got those, and a pom-pom already fell off in the box. And then the last thing are a Rider's Girl. These are really nice. These are an 8.5, 8 8.5. They're leather. The heel's leather. They're a man-made upper, but these really feel like real suede. They're super soft. Um, but they're like a braided leather booty. I don't know if you would call that braided. Like, I don't know what you would call it. Ribbon, ribbon cut. And I like the stitching around the toe. Looks nice. All right, so that's, so we needed 18 shoes in here to call it even. These are an eight and a half, I didn't say that. So there's a pair in here, so that's 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh, they gave me an, I, unless I counted wrong, they gave me an extra pair. So, we got, um, I either got 50 or 51 pairs, and I am just fine with that. So, overall, my assessment of this box is that I will definitely make a profit on this box. I will probably profit the most on this box than I did on the other boxes, simply because, like I said, I sent in a bunch of stuff that was just laying around. I had a credit. Um, and so I only paid probably $3 a shoe for these, a little bit less than $3 a shoe out of my pocket for these. And I will definitely be able to make that money back just in one of these boxes, one of the boxes. So I'm pretty happy about that. And um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do another video breaking down the final numbers of the other two boxes now that it's been a few months since I purchased them and sold them all and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you like this video. I hope it was interesting for you to kind of see what I got. And um, I hope you are more interested than he is and that you didn't fall asleep while you were watching my video. But if you did not fall asleep while you were watching my video, don't forget to check out my other videos that I have on my channel, Bucks of Boss Lady, or give me a thumbs up. What's your favorite pair of shoes? Leave me a comment below or let me know if you like thread up boxes, you know, if you've had good luck, if you haven't. I always love to hear other people's stories and the comments in the videos are the best places to do that. So if you subscribe to my channel, you get lots of content like this and more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.